morning guys, girls. It is a cold, cold Saturday morning today. Um, got to go pick up a parcel from my mum's. But then we are on for, got some pressure washing to do. Hopefully it's going to be satisfying enough. Um, I've got to do a conservatory roof and I've got to clean someone's gutters. Um, I'm hoping I can get this done before like 12ish. It's half eight now and it's absolutely freezing cold. Um, yeah, I've got to go pick up a parcel from my mum's. Stick around guys till the end of this video um, to see the satisfying results of everything that I'm doing today. So let's get on with it. Right guys, this is what we're doing this morning. Tarmac driveway. And then just these, these are really green, so just these slabs out here. And I think in there as well. So yeah, it should come up pretty satisfying. I'm trying to be quiet so the customer doesn't hear me. But yeah, it should be pretty satisfying. Um, I'm gonna get all set up now and get to work.
done and dusted, so all of this patio area here is now looking fantastic. If you remember, it was all green around there and the driveway. That looks a lot better as well. Um, right, I'm gonna get everything kitted back in the van. And then I've got to go swap vans, um, put on some new boots and everything, and get on with jobs number two and three. Okay, job number two, guys. I've already started on those three panels over there. Just got these three to do, and I'm going to do that cheeky little thing there. Um, I didn't quote that in when I was um, pricing this up, but... I'm going to do it as a little freebie, so it looks like it could do with a good clean. Um, there isn't anywhere for me to put my phone or anything there, so I'm just going to hold it, hope for the best, try my best. Right, that's job two all done and dusted. And I was able to um, go and give a quote to next door. They want all of their windows cleaned and they've sort of got like a bit of a porch roof. Um, it's a polycarb plastic um, roof, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I've quoted them up for that and they want a regular window clean. Um, I'm just going to nip to Sainsbury's now, get a meal deal. And then we've got a 30 minute drive to the last job of the day. Ah, oh, the first one of the day always tastes best. And do you know what? If anybody knows the owners of Monster, they need to get in touch with me because I need my sponsorship. Monster need to sponsor me. I keep saying it. I know I keep saying it, but they do. They do. They need to sponsor me. Right, job number three and the last one of the day get all my stuff out and get cracking. So even though it is only a little van, I do manage to get quite a lot in here, to be honest. Um, it's just having to take everything out to get stuff out. Right. Need more sort of back. Put that back in the van. Obviously I would have a lot more room if the tank wasn't there. Um, but it is what it is. Let's just lock it. Right, the house that we need to go to is all the way over there. I've got to carry the stuff. Ugh.
Um, I had a bit of an awkward one with the customer there then because he says, oh, are you not cleaning my fascias? And I said, no, you asked me to clean the gutters. Um, so I cleaned out the gutters and he was like, oh no, I wanted you to, to clean the fascias as well. And I said, well, you didn't tell me. <laughs> I, I'm not a mind reader, I don't know. And um, and yeah, he said, look, um, obviously, can you come back? Can you come back next week? And I said, yeah, look, I mean, obviously I only quoted you to do for cleaning out the gutters. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can come back next week, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to pay me for the fascias and everything. So, and yeah, he, he was fine about it. It was fine. Um, I think it was just lack of communication there. Um, there was a few comments on my last video. Uh, so one of the comments was, how many houses do you try and do a day? And how many did you do today? Now I don't really work on how many houses I can do a day basically I try and set myself a target of how much I need to earn that day um, and I just give myself a ballpark figure and this is this is where I want to be because I want to grow I don't need thousands and thousands of customers I just need a good select few of customers that are gonna you know pay me what I want to be paid and and that's it um, I try not to work too much probably like eight till two three sometimes um it depends if i've got a fascia clean that day it depends if i've got a gut cleaning to do that day um but if it's just basic window cleaning um i don't want to work later than three o'clock max and another comment was i thought maybe 250 a day consistently would be doable but it isn't but it really isn't for me do you make close to that at all? Because I'm more around the 150, which is annoying. Um, I'm not going to tell you how much I earn, but if you see me driving around in my Porsche, mind your business. 150 a day, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Look, I think if you can earn enough, right, for you to be able to live, not work too hard, then you're winning in life. You don't need to work massive amounts of hours and try and earn and earn and earn as much as you need. Look, if you just want to stay as a one-man band, and you know, 150 a day is easily doable. You don't need massive amounts of customers for that, and it's a good bit of money coming in. You can pay your bills on that, pay off whatever debt you pay off credit cards, whatever. I'm not saying that you do, but or you have got credit cards or loans or whatever. But you can pay, you can live a pretty easy life on 150 a day. Um, yeah, I think people need to get out of the head on how much money you need to earn. And if you're making 150 a day and you feel like you're failing, trust me, you're not. You're not failing at all because there's not many people that can earn 150 pound in a day. It really isn't. So yeah, that was some of the comments that I got on my last video. Um, I hope you all like watching this one today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one, but please comment. Don't forget to comment. I love catching up with you guys. I love commenting to you guys, replying. Um, yeah, hit me up in the comments. And if I don't see you before, I'll see you through a window. Peace out, guys.